So today I will explain you how to make this flip countdown in PowerPoint. So far I know there is not countdowns in PowerPoint tutorials in internet. It's my own invention and I'm eager to share it with you. So the challenge is to make a wow slide with a flip countdown. What you need? You need PowerPoint 2016 and a lot of patience to make the task to the end. I will show you how to make the one and two flip, so you will understand the general principle and the next five numbers or as many as you want, you will do by yourself. I already prepared the template, so I will not get confused with it myself and you will follow step by step with me. In this task we will do the flip come down like this. So first what we should do, we will prepare our shapes, like this one, this one's to convert it further in images. So go to the insert shapes and choose rectangle with two rounded corners. This time I will do flip shapes with another color, so you will see the difference and follow me step by step. Duplicate this rounded rectangle and flip. Get rid of outlines and choose colors. There should be different colors uh, on the rectangles. The one that is a bow should be more paler color. Let's choose, choose another color option. Mm, I don't really like these colors. Okay, something like this. The next you should add in number. Number one. I choose Arial. Arial black choose white and it will be about 200 points align it to center the first shape is ready now to copy the background of the flip color countdown i should already work with selection pane go to format selection pane Choose both rounded rectangles and press Ctrl, Ctrl D to copy them for the number 2. Then copy the text box or duplicate. Place it, insert number 2 and align it uh, to the center. So we have two shapes. We chose the font Arial Black and we chose background for our flipping clock. The next step is to make images from shapes. And first we should subtract the, the number from the background around the rectangles. You can see the effect here. Let's try it. For this you should duplicate your number two times, work with selection pane, ok, choose the rounded rectangle and text box. Go to format, go to insert shapes and subtract. The same for this object, but the upper part and subtract. Here we go. The same we should do for the number two. Copy, insert and duplicate. First choose the rounded rectangle, then text box, then go to format and subtract. And the same here, choose the upper shape number and subtract. Here we go. The next 
is to use white background rectangle so we will have not this shape which is transparent on the at the place where was the number but solid here you can see that it is solid it's not a transparent let's copy these numbers insert shapes here you should be very attentive, get rid of outline, to align the rectangle properly that, that it should not be go out from the limits of the shape. Shape you white. Duplicate, make the same here. Duplicate make the same here and duplicate and make the same here select all the white rectangles we did with the pressing the control keeping it and a clicking of the mouse on these shapes and send to back next thing is to select both shapes and Ctrl copy, Ctrl V and insert as an image. Ctrl copy, Ctrl V, insert as an image. Also be attentive to align the forms to each other so this space will be equal each time when you edit the shapes. Here will be very useful to use uh, the greeting guides and check on smart guides here. Right click of your mouse on the workspace of the PowerPoint of your PowerPoint window and choose smart guides. Control copy control V insert as an image. See how they help you? With the red lined line with dots, you can see that you make all correct, align correctly. Okay. Now we have these shapes, they are not transparent. And these are transparent see the difference okay we converted our objects into images and the next step is to prepare flipping parts with a 3d rotation in the end we should receive these shapes of number one let's try it I go, go to the previous slide, copy number one, insert it, then I need these parts and insert them, duplicate, excuse me, I don't need this shape, I need only this shape, but duplicate it the second time for two shapes with 3D rotation. Here we need go to format, choose the rounded rectangle below, shape fill no fill, shape outline no outline. Then select the upper shape and group. The same is for this rectangle and group. Then choose the first one, go to format, shape styles and format picture menu go to 3d rotation and select y rotation 40 degrees and for this one y rotation 17 degrees all right this part of the job is done and next is to arrange the parts in the right order 
It's very important step because when you will do more than one and two flipping, flipping parts, there will be complicated decisions and you should calculate properly what shape should be arranged on the what layer. Let me show you. We copy number one here. And we copy number two and this part. Okay, so the part of below number two will be, let me take it a little higher, will be the first one. Then will be the lower part of the number one. Then will be this one and this one. Here you should will you should be very attentive. If you need, you better call grid and guides and use guides. And align them really neat. It is the hardest part. But you should go with it. Really patiently. All right. I align it. Next to the number first, you should press shift and hold it while moving it and the same for the number two it will not go up or down when you press shift okay so we make the arrangement now we will work with layers again arrange the parts in selection pane let's delete this part to not confuse it with the layers that are up. The number two, the the right that was below number two, should be should go first. Then should go the number one. You just click on it with the mouse and put it up. Then should be group six eighteen. Drag it up. Group sixteen up number one upper part and number two. I arranged them and I'm copying it. Then you should apply animation. We go to the animation pane and see what we have. I insert my previous objects and see. The first shape is an upper part of the number one. Here it is. And it disappears on the delay of 0.25. Let's do it. Point 0.25, okay. Next is group, which appear with previous, this is it, appear with previous, at point 0.25, ok. Next it disappears at point 0.1 after previous the same shape disappear at point one after previous the same is for the number one with a 70 degrees 3d rotation 
add a peer after previous and add disappear after previous at point one and the last one is a part of the number two that is below it appears appears with previous at point one I copy them and go to the our, our last step. Go to format and align center. Now you can see that we did the same slideshow from current slide. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it and if you want me to show you another topic or another challenge, you can write in comment. See you next week. Goodbye.